guys, it's Dawn Robles and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the Phoenix metro area. And today we are going to make a shaker card using a new suite that will be available as an online exclusive starting tomorrow, March 1st. And it is called Irresistible Blooms and it is so pretty. And if you've noticed something here, we do have a couple of returning colors. Now, we don't know what those colors, um, if, if there's going to be a color refresh or if it's just specific to this suite, but we are bringing back Pretty Peacock, which is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite colors of all time. And then we are also bringing back the Lost Lagoon. So before we get started with this, I'm just going to show you some of the products that will be available to you tomorrow. Again, we have the Irresistible Blooms and the dyes that go along with it. So really beautiful uh, dyes. We have leaves. And again, our dyes will work with cutting out the flowers and the leaves in our designer series paper, which I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to have 12 different sheets, two-sided, so really 24 different patterns to look at. Go over this quickly because I know I love this one. This you can cut out either side of the flowers. We have dies to cut this out. We have dies to cut all the leaves. So it's really fantastic. And this one is really pretty too. And then that's the front side. And then coordinating back. Flipping through it really fast. Again, you'll be able to get your hands on this, order it tomorrow. So, pretty, pretty, pretty. So that's the DSP that will be available. And then they came out with three new embossing um, folders. Um, so I'm going to show you an example here. So this one, I hope you can see it. It's just kind of a flowery pattern, real pretty. This one is kind of subtle, if you can see it. It's just some cross hatches and so forth. A uh, nice subtle uh, background texture in this one. I love it's got the little circles that are raised. It reminds me of like um, my grandma used to have like a little, I don't want to say a jewelry box. It was a glass deal with a lid on it and she put her rosary and stuff in there. So that print I thought was really, really neat. So we got that and then I didn't buy everything. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't afford everything <laughs> this week, but and then we got these lo uh, loose frosted dots and they just come in colors and I when I got them I thought oh my gosh I have to make a shaker card with this so that is what we are using for our shaker today and not only is it going to be our fabulous shaker card it's also going to be a fun fold so it'll sit up just like so you can see that like so. So we're going to go ahead and get started making that. Um, I do want to let you know that today is the last day of celebration. So if there's anything that you want um, out of that cel celebration catalog uh, brochure, then today is the day to get it ordered. Um, everything is while supplies last uh, starting tomorrow celebration will be gone so if you're thinking about joining my team it's the perfect time to do do so so for hundred and twenty nine dollars you can pick out hundred and seventy five dollars worth of product including this new suite that will be available to everyone else tomorrow um, and you can pick out the new the new color of the mini cut and emboss machine. If you don't have one already, you can go with the boho blue or the classic white. And that is all for $129 plus ship, uh, not shipping, no shipping, no shipping, plus taxes. Or you can go the other route. And if you don't need the mini cut and emboss machine, you can join my team for 
$99 and that again is picking $175 worth of product out of either catalog that we have going right now or the online exclusive. Um, so if you need help with that, you can always reach me by phone or you can um, click the link tree li uh, link. Isn't that funny? And that has all of my contact information. You can contact me through any of that. So with all of that being said, I'm going to go over the measurements with you. We're going to try at one of the shaker cards in Daffodil Delight. I have a piece of cardstock that is cut at four and a quarter by 11. This will be our card base. Then I'm going to need another piece of Daffodil Delight cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm going to need another piece of Daffodil Delight that is cut by four by four. I'm going to have a window sheet that is cut at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then I need two pieces of basic white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. Pick out your piece of DSP that is cut at three and three quarters by five. And then I am also using the scallop die. Um, let me see what this is called. Scalloped contour dies. So I am using this just to create a little scallop at the bottom of my shaker. Okay. And then I went ahead and cut out different types of flowers and leaves from the DSP. And then I used the smallest rectangle to cut out my sentiment. You don't need to use a die to do this. You can use any shape or um, you can just cut it out on your cutting machine or your Oh my lord, I can't talk today, guys. You're, um, oh my goodness sakes. It's right, it's, I'm looking at it. It's your um, cutting board. Oh my goodness. So you can just, you know, create a shape out of your cutting board. Whatever you want to do there. And then I had already pre-cut one just to check. And I will be using the loose frosted die, uh, dots and the brass butterflies as well. Okay, goodness sakes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my scoring board. You can also do this on your cutting board with your scoring blade. And I'm just going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. And I will fold and burnish my card base. Okay. And then this one I'm just going to fold again, like so. So when you put it together, you're going to have like a tent fold, okay? Then I will bring in my four and a quarter by five and a half. We'll bring in a piece of the Whisper White. Hmm, what did I do here? I miscalculated something. So, did I make this four and a quarter? No, I cut this one too short. Hold on, let me cut another piece. Okay, so let me cut, throw that one to the side and we're gonna cut another one that is five and a half. Okay, by four and one quarter. Okay, now we're good here. And then we're simply going to adhere our layers. So you're going to do your Whisper White and then your uh, Designer Series Paper. And just adhere all those layers together. This card is super easy, super quick. And again, with another wow factor, you know. Okay. Touch that there. 
nice even border. Then you're, what you're going to do is you're going to bring your 4x4 four four Daffodil Delight piece in. And then you're going to bring in your, I have stuff everywhere, your dies. And I'm going to use the, well, it's circle, but it's a, just a really pretty uh, frame. And then you can bring in your big shot. And what I did here, just show you real quick so you can see, is I just lined everything up and I got, I just eyeball it just to make sure you kind of have evenness all the way around, top and bottom, side to side, and then just run that right through your, your cut and emboss machine. Okay, let me set this aside here. And then I'll pull this up carefully. And pop any little pieces out that might be in there still. So we have that. And then we're going to bring in our window sheet. I got one little picky tool here. Pop that out. Okay. I'm going to bring in my adhesive glue. Oh, before I do that. I'm going to add some flowers around the outside of it with the Daffodil Delight. And so I just picked the smaller of the two flowers and then I'm going to ink this up. And I'm just kind of going to go around. Make sure you turn your stamp. go that looks really nice <laughs> and then I'm just gonna flip that over and grab my liquid glue and my window sheet
works fantastic for this especially with the putty end so all I did was I added and you can use a glue dot here too I just chose to use my liquid glue hold that in place and I'm gonna take another put up a pink one I think Yeah, I can tell you already that I will be ordering more of these dots. Huh. Yeah, let's do another. There you go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So now I'm going to close that before I spill it. And on the bottom half where I scored this at two and three quarters, I'm going to attach this panel only to the bottom half. So you can use liquid glue. You can use um, just your regular stamp and seal, your, whatever works for you. I personally like using the liquid glue. That way I can kind of scoot it and maneuver it. I have a little bit of wiggle room. Let me see if I can do this upside down. Just line that up. Looks good. Okay. Then, there you go. Just remember, don't put glue on the this part. We'll create our inside of our card now. I did that two different ways. Well, I guess that one ain't gonna work. So I did this one with just a flower, and then I did the beautiful, pretty peacock with a piece of designer series paper behind my flower. So I think today I'll just do the regular flower. I like it both ways. And then bring this in and see which flower. We have like more pink. We have one that has a lot of yellow in it. Or some of the flirty flamingo, which I think is going to look really pretty. So there's that one. Looks like you're catching a glare on it. And then here's the full pink version too. Oh, that one is actually I'm going to use that one and then I'm just going to bring in my leaves that I cut. Let's see. Susan, you can use glue dots for this. It'd be easy. My liquid glue is there, so I'm just going to stick with it. position that I'll pop that up but before I do that I'm going to stamp my inside sentiment and again I'm just going to use my memento ink so the outside of the card we said I like you the inside of the card we're going to say I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend this makes a great just because card you know sometimes you just want to send a card just because and then I'm just going to go ahead and attach that before I put my flower, which will be used as the stopper. The inside here, like so. Just 
Okay. And then I will pop my flower up on dimensionals. I have a terrible habit of working on top of my cards, which is really not good because I have messed them up before. Okay, and then you can just position, now let's take the backings off, and then you can just position your stopper wherever you want your card. So if you want your card to come more down, you can do that. If you want your card to go more up, then you would put your stopper up just a little bit. I like mine about yeah. Let's move it just this way, just a little bit. A little off-centered, I like. And there you have it. So, tell me, in the comments, which color do you like best? The Fabulous Pretty Peacock, Daffodil Delight, or Flirty Flamingo? Guys, thank you so much for wa watching. If you need supplies, you can click on the link tree link listed below. Uh, it has all the links to take you to my shop or to contact me directly. Um, and if you need just a list of supplies, I have that link there as well, right above the link tree. So go out there, make it a great week, and happy crafting!